Hey everyone, welcome back to Artisan Valley. This is a modded playthrough series where we just play the game, but we can only sell artisan goods. We have mods like Bridge Side, Zuzu City, um, my birthday mods, I get a birthday. I don't know what's going to happen because there's like six, 70 people in the game, so am I going to get 70 presents? Um, yeah, lots of mods, automate, all that kind of fun stuff, and the goal is just to play the game. It was perfection, but I don't know if we're ever going to get there, because uh, there's a lot. First of summer. Dear Lion, Robin has been talking non-stop about pears, gooseberry pie. Can you please bring us some when you get the chance? The seeds should grow far more than enough, so perhaps you can sell the remainder and use them for yourself. Thank you. Ah. Gooseberries. Thanks for coming to my art show. It was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures and everyone was so positive and encouraging. Now, where are our tools? I don't know what crops we should plant. We planted blueberries. Maybe, oh, sorry. We planted strawberries. Maybe we'll plant blueberries. I am trying to just do one, like, crop to sw swindle down our, uh, our storage. Um, and whatnot. We haven't got to Ginger Island yet, which I'm a bit sad about. I want to get to Ginger Island because I want to know if there's anything new over there. Um, with the expanded and the mods and whatnot, we need our pickaxe, which I th think... These don't die? Gosh, I don't know if I want these around. Oh, this is not in line. You know what, that's a good reason to destroy the crops, so we can put this in line. Sorry! I guess now is a good better time than any to rearrange the uh, the farm. We do have way too many scarecrows. But yeah, I'm just trying to do like one of each crop so that we don't have so many of these. Because this is ridiculous. We never sold a snow yam. I'll do that. Um... We do need to do a bunch of fishing today. Alright, actually, do you know what? I will spend today rearranging the farm. Maybe we'll see if we can make some more iridium sprinklers. Alright, we're going to go to Piers and see if he's got new crops. We definitely need a red cabbage. Ooh! Hello, Demetrius. Hi, Lion. The weather is astonishing, wouldn't you say? Did you know that this fountain is 30 years old? It's maintained and repaired by a technician from Grampleton. I do want to get to Grampleton. Are you making progress cultivating your farm? I haven't visited it since you allowed me to set up my experiment in the cave, which I'm still thankful for. Me too, it makes me money. What should I say? Robin constructs buildings on my farm. I'm looking to crafting sprinklers to automate watering. I've been focusing on honing my combat skills and fishing. Uh, automate watering. That's a smart idea. Automating the process should save you time. Glad you're doing fine here in, Artist, in Stardew Valley. Owning a farm is a lot of work and may be overwhelming at times. Speaking of Stardew Valley, do you know where our village gets its name? Does our village get its name from space stuff? Because Stardew, something, I don't know. Where does the name come from? Allow me to tell you. A thousand years ago, a huge meteor shower periodically bombarded the specific area of the Ferngill Republic. Of course, back then, the Republic didn't exist yet. The meteors were so plentiful that their trails looked like fibers stretching across the sky. The meteorites looked like tiny drops on the trails, like morning dew on the spi on a spider web. So our ancestors called these showers the silk dew of the stars. When the Ferngo Republic were first established 150 years ago, the admissions union named this valley Stardew in honor of our ancestors. Have you ever wondered why your crops are always healthy or why they so easily be a high quality produce? That's because of the meteor shower. The soils in the valley is extremely fertile. It has an abundance of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. 
There's also a high concentrate of minerals present in the soil, including zinc, magnesium, boron, iron, sulfur, cobalt, copper, magnesium, and so. Oh, mang ma manganesium and magnesium and so on. So you can grow just about anything with ease thanks to the fertile soil. It's the reason why so many farmers have established their livelihood in Stardew. There's only like... Oh, I guess there's four. I learned something new, thanks. I'm a nice person. I'm happy you know more about the valley and where you live. The co combined efforts of science and history have made Stardew Valley a fantastic fascinating place oh look at the time i didn't mean to keep you so long i'll let you get back to whatever errands you're running have a fantastic day lion you too demetrius okay oh i guess i'm not seeing what the help wanted quest was i'm such a snoop why am i a snoop found pierre's secret stash hey who's in the bedroom I'm such a bad person. What? How'd you find that? Quick, give it to me. Promise you won't tell anyone about this. Your secret is safe with me. You're be like, your secret is safe with me. Thanks, I appreciate that. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll forget that you were snooping around my bedroom. See, I'm such a bad person, Grumble. Now I have to find a new hiding spot, Grumble. <laughs> Alright, what new crops have we got? Red cabbage. Let's get two. One for shipping, one for shelling. Pierre, I need you to sell me the dehydrator recipe. Black currant, are those new? Blue corn, I think, is new. Cardamom. I think I remember these ones, but I can't remember. Prickly pear sounds new. Cucumber, I don't think we had that. The easiest way to do this is to worry about the new things later on. And Pierre won't sell me the dehydrator recipe. And I don't know if there's another way to get it. Lotus starter. Grows in a pot. We haven't definitely haven't had that. Lily bud seems new too. Anyway. We'll just do those ones because we've got too many options right now. How many blueberries do you think we need to fill our farm? Should we just do 300? Well, let's do 350. Oh, we're doing 400 now. If we have leftovers. We'll just put them in um, other places. Like we have a greenhouse that needs location stuff. Largemouth bass for pollen. Oh, now we have our pickaxe, we can go back to the mine, so we should go get Iridium. Um, there's also that mines in Cape Town that we tried to go to the other day. Um, last episode? The episode before last? One of the two. It's crazy how much these spaces actually take. Like, I only need four for this whole area. That's crazy. But I had so many made. That will do. Alright. Back here where he was before. <laughs> and then if we put our cucumber. All of our new stuff around it. Can we make one more just to fill out all the spaces that we've made? Surely we can make one more. Surely we can make one more. Oh, it's a gold bar. I always get confused. 
Yes. Now, if only we had an upgraded hoe. I didn't even say hi to the animals today. Whoops. Oh well. If we miss out on one thing of blueberries, it's fine. What is happening? Uh oh. A trees? It was a strong windstorm during the night. A tree fell down. I need to figure out if you can actually do anything with tea bags. It's raining. Well, cool. and it's Lola's birthday. What should we get Lola for her birthday? I feel like I did something like this the other night. Good use of my time. At least we went to bed and got full energy back for once. Alright, is 400 blueberries enough? Moment of truth. Ooh, I'm glad we went for 400 and not 300. Although we didn't get to plant any of these mixed seeds, which is a bit sad. Oh, we missed one. Um, we might need to make one more sprinkler. What was it? Gold, iron, refined quartz. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to go to Skull Caverns because I added a mod that I want to see. I want to see how it works. Oh, it's not a good luck day. Maybe we don't go to Skull Caverns. Any rabbit's feet? <laughs> Our boy chicken's all grown up. You know what? We're going to go Skull Caverns on a bad luck day. I don't care. I'm ruthless like that. Let's go. Where's Lola live? I think it's Ridgeside. Guess we're not gonna skull Kevin's today, probably. I guess we'll just fish today and then we'll go to, to skull Kevin's tomorrow. I've never been here, what do you sell? Oh, just basic stuff. Cool. How are you? Lola, over there. She lives in a barn. Ma'am, can you come outside please so I can give you a, a give you uh, mayonnaise for your birthday please? There's another new thing over here I wanted. I'm gonna go because if you come out of your house you have to come down here. Also I think there's another more new fish in here. I want to know how to get to the Ridge Falls. Guess we're going up here today. How's this? Orange trees already got oranges. I guess. Oh no, but it's only been two days. I can't have three oranges. Something's not adding up here. I wonder if that's the blocked off path as Ridgeside Falls. Why is everybody out in the rain today? I'm going to get lost, because I always get lost in here. I can never find the exit. What is in this water? Oh, well, this doesn't seem fair. How can they move when the time's paused? How are you meant to fish here? They can move while time's paused. Um, I'm not getting out of here again. I'm definitely lost. What is that? Damn it, just as I can't eat. 
I should just go up as far as we can. If I'm using a walk totem, I'm gonna use it. Oh, it's blocked. Well, there is an, an end. Whatever that means. Oh yes, a prismatic shard and iridium. Oh, that was a dumb idea. Oh, I need to eat. <laughs> I think it's probably time to leave. And Lola's probably definitely in bed now, so she's definitely not getting a birthday present. <laughs> Damn, that was scary. What's the secret note say? Minus diary chapter one. Summer fourth year negative four or five or year four five sorry negative five or four or five or four i'm not sure which one we set up a proper camp in this place a couple weeks ago and i've already seen something you just would not believe the other night a darn star fell right out of the sky and landed into the valley just a few kilometers down south now a group of people are thinking it's going to of going to scope it out see if, if it's dangerous or not maybe it could be useful to us summer 17th yeah five or four the scouts just came back the other night and said the star was nowhere to be found, just a hole in some rubble where it should be. Though they said that the valley was something to behold, even without a star, the abundant land with with the abund an abundant land with apparently more forage to be had and fish to catch than we know what to do with. Said it's even got quarry filled with ore on the eastern side. Sounds like the perfect sounds like as perfect a place as any to set up a proper town. The rest of us are gonna make our way over on over after we pack up the rest of camp it takes about three days time on horseback fall 22nd year 504 after about a month's time we finally got something set up that we could all call a town there's a nice spot between the mountains and the ocean that we decided to settle down in it's a good pl town for fishing and mining we've decided to call it pelican town once we get some boats up and running this could have a real nice bustling port going on should bring in new people to the valley. The wildlife here is all friendly too, except for the monsters in the cave by the mountain. But there's a little turtle we found when we started settling, been real fond of us. It seems like the little fella has been here for quite a while, quite a bit. It's just nice to have him around to keep us company. And that's how Stardew Valley was formed. One of these, one of these, one of these. One of these. If you're new here, we can sell one of everything just um, to get. That's a flower. Um, perfection, because to get the collections tab, you need to sell one of everything. So that is why we can sell one. I guess we know what we're doing tomorrow. We have to go mining. I really want to go fishing just to get the fishing over and done with, but it doesn't happen. <laughs> it's just doesn't happen. No birthday stay and a lightning storm tomorrow. It's another bad luck day, so we probably shouldn't go to Skull Caverns, but you know what? I'm just gonna do it anyway. It's fun. We should probably check on our greenhouse at some point too. But um we can wait for that. We've run out of mushrooms and a kombucha shed. I think we have a slime channel ring. Yep. I, I did remember that last time I went to Skull Caverns, I said, guys, remind me to take the slime charmer ring. So we're remembering this time. Kiwi, do you like grapes? Don't touch. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. I'm not going to complain. I didn't know you guys had a shop here. Cool. That's actually really cool. I think I broke the bus. Because Pam wasn't even there and I catched the bus. Let's see. <gasps> Look at this! Oh, it saves all my current levels! That's cool. We didn't bring bombs. Guys, I added the elevator mod to Skull Covens. So now we can just get Iridium nice and easily. Grab foot. 
Hmm. Guys, I'm throwing out the gems because I can't do anything with them anyway. I can't sell them because they're not an art of they're not a artisan good. So I think they're worth selling. It's not the worst thing in the world. Hey, that wasn't entirely not successful. We got 28 iridium, which was nice. And we got two prismatic sh Oh, we only got one prismatic shard. When did we get oh yesterday we got a prismatic shard. Um, I think I'm going to install a mod that lets me wear more rings. Because I think I remember seeing it. So I think I might I might do it. We also got a rabbit's foot, which is fun. Um, I can't remember what we were wanting a rabbit's foot for. But we have one now. I'm selling a rabbit's foot. I can't remember what we wanted it for. So I'm going to sell it. Strawberries. I'm beginning to think this honey is never ready. Four days. It feels like it's been... I've never gotten honey from it, have I? I guess the one way to check is if I've had honey to ship. We'll come back in four days, which is basically the end of next episode, and we'll check if we remember. And if we still don't have honey, then I'm moving it, because it's not working. Imagine if we could just sell everything in here. Like, how much money would we get? That'd be crazy. Oh, I forgot about our plantains. A starchy type of banana that is food staple around the world. Oh, hello. What is this? The old tree is gone, however, with a hundred pieces of hardwood, this could be fixed up. Okay. I'm was trying to get a horse for the longest time that didn't pan out um because i needed a hundred wood and i didn't have it am my friends enough with jazz to enter a room yes thank you a birthday present i love it you could that give me free hearts i had a nightmare the house was on fire oh that's scary i'm sorry about your nightmare i'm going fishing with my inventory for i'm gonna get in trouble oh no we didn't accept a new quest 80 hardwood? Sure, because I need 100 anyway. It is year 2, so your prices are doubled, which is annoying. Let's do 200. Oh, we did 205. That's fine. And I was thinking maybe we get a little bit of copper, because we have heaps of iron, but not that much copper. And what else are we going to spend our money on? A tool upgrade? We can't. We don't have the ore for it. Alright, now that our inventory is full, let's go fishing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll go and empty it first. No, okay, we're gonna start building a keg collection in a little another spot because we want to have like a little, like, this is for strawberries kind of area. Okay, I guess we're building it like that. That's fine. Fishing. We're fishing. We're going fishing. And only fishing. I don't think any of these are new. Wait, I thought you couldn't catch the legend in the rain. Did I have to be sunny? Guess I was wrong. Well, okay then. I complain. That's 200 XP. Oh yeah, a sea jelly to go with all the cave jellies. So now I'm probably short on river jellies. So I'm sure we should make some more smokers anyway. My last fish was a trash. Why? Why? I should put out way more crab pots so then every morning I wake up I get 100 fishing XP. Because right now I only get 35. I need like 2,000 more stuff. Anyway, let's see into the episode. Oh no! Where am I going to stand now? I guess I'll just stand under sprinklers. Oh, those look cool. The passion for flowers. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day night. Remember maybe for you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!